Hello everyone, hope you're all doing fine. Today let's talk about Python conditional statements, uh, if, else if, or elif, and else statements. So, let me go ahead and uh, put this up here, here. Conditional statements in, uh, statements in Python are, if uh, elif else code markdown shift enter all right there you go so let's look at the syntax of if if there's an expression and then there is a statement okay let me make this raw because Mark John will interpret this as something else. Let's look at a very simple if statement if true. That is using boolean operator true and false. Okay. If true print hey automatically anything will be assumed as true if when you, whenever you start a statement with if true uh, automatically by default everything is true so it will just print out let's say if i do if false by the way can i do like this hey obviously it won't work because automatically it will be assumed as true so if you do this yep there you go it does it now simple thing is you can also do this if one is less than two is one less than two obviously print hey if one greater than two i'm sorry one greater than two print hey it won't print hey because one is not greater than two you can also do like this let's say bat equals false and if bat print hey since bad is false if will become false print hey right this is especially useful let's say if based on a condition you want to set in a server um, logging equals true or logging equals false whatever right there you can easily use it let's say logging by default the value of logging is true and we do if logging print logs are being saved to log okay wait here logs are being saved to log server else print logs aren't oops okay logs are and saved what happened here long is not defined okay oh oops there you go right okay so i have set the value of logging is true so if logging obviously it's since it's true the print logs are being saved you can also for the sake of my clarity if this is something how you like it i can also do like this no that's why you know people kind of love python a bit more especially if this is your first language i always suggest people when you want to get when they want to get into programming uh, what is a pro language that i should choose what is something which is easy for me python is known as the beginner's language and when i say the beginner's language it's not something like you know cripple okay once you learn it then you have to move to something else to do some actual work uh, you take any field for that matter in Python, any f any field in programming, uh, Python will be there on top three, right? So it's uh, not just you know jack of all trades; it's also master of most of those trades. So anyway, so let's go to logging equals false now, all right? And the control A, control C, control V here. 
there your logs aren't being saved I hope that makes sense then we can also do like this if false print hey obviously it didn't print then you can do if not false print hey obviously not false is nothing but true right so it does that if two is greater than one then you have print hi there you go this is what we are doing here is using i'm using comparison um, operator here let me when did i first use it here somewhere yep there here too i used comparison operator comparison operator using using comparison operator now let's say if to let's do this if to less than one print yes else print no what happens so two is not less than one so it printed now what if i do to let's change the condition now let's see what happens it prints yes let's take two values now a is two b is three and what i will do here is if a b right i'll say print greater as you can see it automatically is indenting but since i have i mean this is a no, this is a you know popular way of doing it but i want to okay let me first do this once and then uh, later i will show you the other way how to save some keystrokes and also i think that looks neater the way I usually do print lesser else print equal yeah so what happened here if a greater than b a is 2 b is 3 right if a that is 2 is greater than b print greater if a less than b that is 2 is less than 3 print lesser else print equal because if it's not greater if it's not lesser then it should be equal it printed lesser because that's where it is now what if we change these values here instead of a equals 4 i'm going to do here this one 4 and i'll do this okay it printed greater because obviously a greater than b condition is true because four is greater than three and it prints greater then let's take another one here take the same thing change it to four it prints equal because both are equal so indentation absolutely matters here so indentation matters code code change it to mark down shift enter here let's say if true print first block if false print second block then again if true print third block so what happened here by default yeah it's if true right so it printed the first block the first block gets executed because it appears first and there's a true statement then what i will do is control a control c control v copy paste here 
I am going to do shift tab here. Oops, not all the lines, last two lines. Shift tab, that pulls it. And now this is aligned to this statement. So this statement, if this statement gets, I mean, goes beyond this, and this will also get executed. So now these two, if statements are in single block of code. So let's do a shift enter what happened. First block and third block. If true, because this is also true, right? So print third block. So that's how indentation matters. Mm, let's uh, take another one now. If true, print first line. Oops, what did I do? First line, print second line, print third line. Hmm. So I printed out third line, uh, all three lines because I am putting uh, three print statements out for if condition, which is true all the time, if true. So let's copy paste that here and alter that a bit. What we want to do for that is if true, then here, this one, I'm going to do if, so irrespective of, since it is outside, uh, this is one block, this is another block and both are in the same level, as you can see, you know, same line, they are on the same level. So this whole thing is now just, uh, even if this thing doesn't get executed, this thing will always get executed. Let me show you how. Control A, Control C, Control V here. I'm gonna put false here. So third line always gets executed no matter what, because that is outside the indentation. So indentation matters a lot. Usually this is done with other programming languages with a parenthesis bracket or, I know, um, I call it mostage bracket. So usually with other like PowerShell and other programming language, this is used to um, define a block of code, but in Python it's indentation. If two greater than one, print greater one liner if statement is permissible. Yeah, if two greater than one, print greater. Awesome. Now I'm going to A, B, C, two, two, three. So this is called tuple unpacking. We have covered it already. Used to map variables to their values. Okay, used to map variables to their values here. Yeah. Shift enter. So if I print out A, B, C now, as you can see, two to three comes out. And just print A, two comes out, right? So let's write some code for that. If A less than B, print lesser L if A greater than b print greater else if elif is a short form of l else if if a is equal to b then print equal else print I don't know. There you go, equal. It prints equal because A is equal to B, that is two is equal to two. A is two, B is two, yep. Then let's play around a bit. If A less than B pass, that means do nothing. 
well, we will take that example later. Now, less uh, and else print doing something if a less than b pass else print doing something yeah doing something so if a is greater than b do nothing pass means just do nothing just do nothing just like now go proceed else print doing something what if i do control a control c control v here i will do this a less than b pass else print doing something so whenever uh, you do this pass statement it does nothing there okay it just proceeds let's go ahead and look at some nested if statement nested if statement on the graph there we have if a less than b print is less than b yeah if b less than c print b is less than c print a is less than c so what really happened here it's a, uh, we have put out a statement if a less than b then you do all this but a is not less than b so shift enter nothing happened control a control c here i'm gonna do nothing happens so what we're gonna do here is we are going to redefine a b c as one two three instead of a and b being equal a and b were two earlier now if i take Mm. And this is how it was. Is A greater than B? Obviously not. So if I do this, yes, A is less than B. B is less than C. A is less than C. Because A, B, C, I think these conditions do meet, right? I think you know that's all I had for if else if and else statements. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Bye